Welcome back everyone, John Panu here with another video. Today we're going to be going over our daily Limbus news. And by daily, I mean whenever they give us some new updates of stuff. So we have a, from what I believe, a soundtrack release for a lot of the songs that are coming to Spotify, YouTube Music, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Deezer, and Tidlad. So basically the music's coming out, which is pretty nice. If you like some of the music, there are definitely some soundtracks I actually like though, for sure. Next thing, what we have is the, I believe, postponement. Oh, new identity extraction. No, we have a new identity extraction for our pork <laughs> fourth, our corp fourth pack rhino assault and as way south section five rodeon. So two identities instead of the one that we got last time. Not only that, though, we also have the trailer for these bad boys. So let's take a look and see what their kit's all about. Limbus Company. No, baby. Okay, that's a that's a nice splash art. All right, all right. Definitely a blunt character. Just blunt all the way. Okay. Have a beer on the way back. Okay, her uninvolved splash art is better. I say more salt. What? Dude's literally the rhino from Spider-Man. Slash Pierce looking like? Oh my god. Literally a thick boy. What the hell? Mursault literally looks like a Gundam. Okay, pretty sick banner. Honestly, pretty sick banner, not gonna lie. This splash art was nice. His package looks strong. Don't know what they're going to do, but they look unga bunga massive. He's literally a tank with freaking gigantic Gundam arms, and she's just got a hot splash art. Honestly speaking, the first art should be the second art. Should be the evolved art, because that, that was mm, just beautiful art. This one, I don't know what this is. 15 seconds of the Magic Hell Bus. Is this a play on the Magic School Bus? K District 11. Is this? Oh my god. Is this? Is this? Is this the summer episode in anime? Is this the. The. <laughs> the fan service episode? Is this what 4.5 is gonna be? Oh baby. We got some stuff happening. Mirror Dungeon 2 hard changes and additions to postponement. So the release. Uh, Mirror Dungeon 2 Hard Edition was projected for today, has been posted to Monday, July 10th, so basically like... Today, I think, in my time. Continue the internal testings of the adjustments of Mirror Dungeon 2 in order to polish the content further and reinforce its fun factors, but its certain elements will still not be fully set in stone, allowing us no choice but to delay the completion of the notice. To apologize to the players who are waiting for the notice, deliver notice detailing the confirmed changes and additions to Mirror Dungeon 2. Yeah, so Mirror Dungeon's hard mode, it lacked a little bit of sustenance it's basically simulated universe from honkai star rail i think if they follow arknights though we're gonna have a really good mere dungeon but honestly right now a little bit lacking they have to add more upgrades for us to do with our stardust they kind of need to make it a little bit harder maybe i want to say harder but not longer okay i want to make it like similar to railway extraction just a little bit but it definitely needs a a little bit of tweaking, that's for sure. But the mode takes an hour. That's all I'm going to say. Could be shorter. And that's basically it for all our daily Limbus news. Overall, though, really looking forward to all the new things that are coming out, honestly. The changes to Harmo is going to be coming out, so I'll be checking out that today. Magic Hellbus means it's coming. And from the looks of it, Magic Hellbus, based on this one right here the roadmap we got mobius oh no we don't we don't have mobius we're we're still a little bit behind on mobius so we will be getting the magic hell bus train see ahead but journey all hands on deck to remodel the bus interesting so we might be able to remodel the bus interesting so we'll be able to decorate our oh i think they're going to be adding the the what's the word the similar function that they have in Arknights where you can decorate your dormitory. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the same thing where you can decorate your Hellbus. 
which will be honestly very exciting. I'm curious about the art of the business cards, but what is the mini event? This one I don't. But September is gonna be looking good. Participation in the Tokyo 2023 or to participation in the 2023 Tokyo Game Show that'll be that'll be pretty big for the game, like honestly. And the next big one would be in October. So honestly, the next big thing to look forward to is obviously Chapter 4.5. But not only that, though, I would say participation in 2023 Tokyo Game because is going to give the game a lot of eyeballs. Honestly speaking, though, really looking forward to everything. Honestly, Project Moon has been like giving us some fire stuff. I would say the delay is a little bit annoying, but can't complain, though. However, I will say not this one. This one. The banner. All the... Our rabbit or our corp units have been pretty damn strong with the exception of Ishmael. Ishmael is basically the only one that kind of really sucks. Like actually really, really sucks monkey balls. But if they release the Rhino, I'm really curious to see how strong he is. He doesn't run any bullets. And I think he's actually going to be the only other character that's our corp. Yeah, he's only he's gonna be the only three characters who are up there. So our Heath, our Ishmael, and that was gonna be our Rhino. I think our Rhino is gonna it has to be amazing because Ishmael super jank, no one plays her. Getting Chen Tarch not that easy. Uh, freaking Heathcliff is like S tier unit just for how much damage he can output. Rhino though, I'm pretty sure he'll be doing some pretty strong damage, but we're gonna have to wait to see if he, what his gimmick is, what his kit is. Is it? It's not going to be ammo, that's for sure, and it's probably not going to be charged, hopefully, but gonna have to wait and see. Honestly, really strong pacings from Project Moon. I will say, though, that the one thing that I am a little bit sussed out with is just the 4.3. I mean, not the 4.3, the 4.5 and the Mobius. Railway Extraction was one of the things that kept us pretty busy for a little while, just trying to clear it. So if the Railway Extraction isn't that going to be that hard... Actually, I'll rephrase it. Isn't going to be that... Not word hard is what I use. If it isn't stimulating enough, it's going to set us really bad. Because when the first Railway Refraction came out, this was basically like, what, three months ago? I'm really hoping that they'll be able to get it out this month because this will be big content that keeps for a while. But I also hope like Refraction Railway, they make it so that I wouldn't say the rewards are better, but make it so that there's a better incentive for you to redo the stage over and over. Because I know last time we got a specific banner for being able to clear under 100. But I do think they should add banners for the Omega tryhards for stuff like under uh, 75 turns, under 50 turns, under 25 turns, you know, stuff like that. Just really, really go hard over it. But honestly speaking, we'll have to wait and see. I'm looking forward to all the new stuff that's happening. And guys, let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Are you guys excited for the new banner, the new 4.5 that's coming out? And potentially just even the participation in the 2023 Tokyo Games. Honestly, Limbus Future looking really good. As usual, John Panio signing out. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye for now.